Righto, hey year 12, welcome to this first video. So it's a bit late getting up. Now we're starting on on integration here. And really all we're doing in this first exercise is we're learning to interpret, uh, to recognize this sort of notation here. Right, this is a bit unfamiliar to us, this is new. We're learning to interpret this as meaning the area underneath this curve, right, y equals x minus one, between the bounds of one and four, Right, so we want to find the area between this curve, the x-axis, right, with, re with respect to x here, between the bounds of 1 and 4. Right? So in some instances, this is quite easy to work out. Right? If we, if we recognise this as a linear function, we can graph it. And here's one I prepared earlier. Here is a pretty scruffy looking graph of that function that shows the interval from 1 to 4. Now I want to find the area between the x-axis and that curve there, right? this area here. Yeah, it's a triangle. I don't know how to work out the area of a triangle. Okay, so the area of that would be half the base times the height, and I've kind of worked out some of those things already. So instead of saying the area equals, I'm going to say the integral from 1 to 4 of x minus 1 dx equals half times, so the base there is going to be 3, 4 minus 1, half times 3 times the height is 3 equals... 4.5. Now we're working that area, but we're not going to put units in there. Well, we could say square units, but uh, this does not sort of strictly require that. So 4.5, there we go. A second one here to look at, same function, different bounds, right, will lead us to a slightly different calculation. Let's quickly sketch that up again. You see, in these sorts of questions, it is quite important that we draw a sketch, right? So there's our axis, x and y. Linear function, x minus 1, right, so that looks like this. Cross there at negative 1, it's going to cross there at 1. Now we want the bounds from 2, right, that's going to be here, 2 to 4. Right, this region here. Right, that's going to be there at 3. That's going to be there at 1. Okay, now I've got a trapezium. So the area of a tra trapezium is the average of the parallel sides multiplied by the distance between them. Okay, so the integral from, this time from 2 to 4 of x minus 1 dx equals the average of those sides. So it's 3 plus 1 over 2. Multiply the dot by the distance between them, 4 minus 2, multiply by 2. Right, and that is 2 by 2 equals 4. Slightly less than this region here. That probably makes sense, doesn't it? Indeed it does. Look, that's all you need to do for this first exercise. 1A, um, the sketch is probably already provided for you in most instances, and I just want you to get familiar with that notation, understand what it means, right? and I'm very confident you can work out the area of trapezia, of triangles, of rectangles, semicircles, and quadrants. That's the first video. Uh, good luck for the next one.